Hi, this is Gary with MacBoast.com. Let me show you many different ways to translate text on your iPhone. MacBoast is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacBoast.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So there are a lot of different ways that you could take text and translate it from one language to another on your iPhone. Let's start with web pages in Safari. Let's say you're at a web page and it's in a different language. Well, there are two ways to do it. One is to select the text first. So I'm going to tap and hold here and then extend the selection. Once I have what I want translated selected, I could use the menu here and look for translate. If you don't see it in the first set, just arrow over to the next set of commands. When you use translate, it brings up this special set of controls here. You see the original text and you see the translated text. You could change the language if it didn't get the language right either for the original text or what you want to translate it to. There's also a play button so we can speak the results. And down below you'll find a variety of different controls, one of which is to copy the translation. So now you've copied it and you could paste it somewhere else. We'll look at the rest of these in a bit. But Safari also gives you the ability to translate the entire web page. When you first load a page, I'll reload this one and you'll see here a little icon right there that appears quickly showing you it can do translation. It goes away, but you can just tap the reader button there. And one of the options here is translate. So you could select this and it will translate the entire contents of the page. You could tap there again and go to view original to go back. But translation isn't just a special feature in Safari. It's actually system-wide in iOS. So for instance, in the Messages app here, I've got a message here I want to translate. If I just tap and hold it, one of the options here is Translate. And I'll bring up that same set of controls here where I can change the languages on both ends if I want. And I could also copy that translation. But I can also translate text that I'm typing. So for instance, I can type a response here. And then if I select that response and then go through the context menu, there's Translate. I can then pick the language here. So in this case, English is the right language to start with, but I want it to go to German. And there's the translation. And I can use Replace with Translation to replace the selected text. You could do the same in other apps. So for instance, here I am in Pages. I can select some text here and then I can use Translate in the context menu and I could see the translation and I can replace it if I want and it replaces it right there in the document. Now you can also translate text that's embedded inside of an image like a photo. So I'll go to the Photos app here and let me zoom in on this section here and I can select the text like that just by tapping and holding and then swiping a bit to get the selection. Then I can go through the context menus and one of the options there is Translate. I'm going to change the language back to English and I get my translation. But this will work on images outside of photos as well. Here I am in the Files app and I've got a JPEG image and I could just tap and hold on that and select the text there and then I could find Translate in the context menu. I could have also tapped this button here at the bottom right and that automatically selects any text it can find in the image and I can tap the translate button and it'll actually translate it in place. I see the translation on top of the image. This works on web pages too, but it can be kind of tricky. Here I am on an actual web page and there's just an image embedded in this page. Selecting text here can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes you tap and hold and it gives you a context menu. Other times it allows you to select. So it's a bit hard to do, but if you can select the text, then you can use translate there. If you just can't get it to work on a specific page or with a specific image, there is a fallback. And this will work in a variety of different apps, even ones that don't let you select text. And that's to take a screenshot. You don't save the screenshot, but you use the screenshot preview to do the translation. So for instance, I'm going to zoom in here on this piece of text. And I'm going to then take a screenshot by holding the side button and the volume up button. And then I get the little preview here at the bottom left. I'll tap that to go to the preview. Now once I'm in this preview here, I can sometimes select the text or tap this button here at the bottom right and it will select text for me. And then one of the things I can do is translate. 
and it'll actually translate the text in place. Or I could try selecting here like that and then use the menu translate like that to get all these options and maybe it's a little easier to read as well. And once I'm done with it, I can just use the trash button there at the top and delete the screenshot if I don't want to save it. Now you can also translate live images through the camera. One is to use the actual camera app here. And I've got a sign here. I just print this out on a piece of paper. But imagine it's a real sign that you're seeing in real life. Notice that the yellow box kind of forms around some text. I can now tap this button here at the bottom right and it'll kind of select that text there. And I've got that text selected. I can go in with a tap and drag, select it like that, and use translate to translate this. And I never actually even took a photo here. So I'll just exit the camera app having done my translation. But there's another way to do it and you could do lots of different things in a special app that comes on your iPhone. It's the translate app. You'll see it here. If you don't find it on any of your home screens, then go to your last home screen, the app library, and search for it there. It translates built into your iPhone so you've got it. Now you have several different modes in the Translate app. One here allows you to type or to speak and then it will give you the translation. So I'll tap here. Thank you. And you can see it gives me the translation there. And it kind of saves these on individual cards. So I can now do another one. And if I want, I can even favorite this so it remains in one of my favorites and I can get back to it very easily. And you could select the language here on both ends as well. You could also go to the camera mode and this will actually bring up your camera and it will try to translate what it sees. So in this case, I'm going to change this so it will do German to English. And now you could see how it does that live. There's also this conversation mode where you've got bubbles just kind of like the Messages app and you can turn on the microphone and you can hold your iPhone between you and you can both talk, one in one language, one in the other. And it will do translations. It kind of it makes it easy to have simple conversations while traveling. So I mentioned before in Safari when you go to translate something or in just about any of the modes I showed before, you've got buttons down here like Add to Favorites. That will actually add that to the favorites in the Translate app. And also you can open this up in Translate. So add it basically as a card in Translate. You also have this last menu item which is Download Languages. And this gives you the ability to download languages for offline use. Very useful if you're traveling somewhere and you don't have a consistent connection. Apple hasn't been doing translations like this as long as Google has. So if you really need to get to some language that Apple hasn't added yet, go to translate.google.com. works fine in Safari and you can enter or paste text here and you've got a much larger selection of languages to go to and from. So as you can see, you've got tons of different options for translating text on your iPhone and these will all work on the iPad as well. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.